Hello everybody and welcome back to another Hardly Hardcore episode! We just did one the other day and we're back for another one already. So basically, I have two plans for today. Plan number one, we need to make an automatic iron farm. And number two, we need to uh, try and make the storage system for our base way over there. So, I have pulled up a tutorial for how to make an iron farm. There were so many different videos that I found, and this one is uh, Voltrox, I believe is how it's pronounced, so shoutouts to you. And we're going to be constructing this exactly as follows. I did watch the video all the way through this time, and I know exactly how to do this, just not by memory. So. This iron farm is going to make use of iron golems that are going to spawn when villagers are nearby. There's villagers over here as well, but they're not going to spawn in the iron golems. This is going to be what spawns them in. So, we need to go eight solid blocks high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should I be doing this at night? Absolutely not, but we're going to do it anyways. So, once we are eight blocks high, we need to build a five by five platform. I actually even found a zombie spawner that I made use of, and I even made a little grinder uh, way down almost beneath the uh, villager breeder. So, uh, I have been making use of that. Uh, now we need to place beds, and they have to be placed exactly the way that I am watching this guy do it in the video. So I'm going to do less talking here and try and place these precisely as he has them. This is exactly how they need to be. If they're not like that, apparently this farm will not work. So now we're going to take uh, blocks around the beds, just like this, going all the way around. Now I'm not quite sure why. I'm assuming we're going to be building up walls and stuff for this in a second. Uh, but going all the way around, only leaving room for the beds themselves. This makes the most sense to me, just because this is where you want the villagers to remain. Uh, now we need to build a wall out of glass on top of the solid blocks, but it needs to be too high. So I went and I found a ton of sand. Um, sand is not very fun to collect, but if I mess a single one of these up, I have to go get more glass because I did not make extra. I was told I would need 32. Now I have to put the villagers inside. Perfect! I now have five villagers in here. So now that I have those in there, where exactly am I supposed to go with these? So now I need hoppers. I need my hoppers is what it looks like. So we're gonna take one chest and we're gonna put it on here and we're supposed to connect the hoppers to the chest. So one and one over here and I'm assuming the third one will just hook up to another one of the hoppers we'll just do that that should be all we need to do with that part and then we're gonna cover the top with solid blocks so just like so I'm assuming that the reason why we're covering this up is simply because we don't want anything coming in here and trapping these guys because that would be really unfortunate for them and now you are in darkness. So I'm supposed to go three high all the way around. So like one, two, and three. It's got to be like that all the way around. This should be easy peasy. And the last wall is in. So now what do we need to do? Now we need to... Oh, he's telling us to, t to subscribe to his channel. Sorry, bud. I'm not going to subscribe at the moment. I'm busy trying to follow your tutorial. Okay, now it's time to place water and lava. So we need to put some signs around here to make sure that the water and the lava stay stationary. So that's what these four signs are for. I got eight for some reason. But one goes here. One goes here. One is going to go here. And one is going to go here. Excellent. Now, is this where the lava goes, or is this where the water goes? Uh, this is where the lava goes. Okay. So, this is the dangerous part. I realize now he's actually building this in creative. That's why I'm going to appear to be stuck. Lava bucket, and... Okay. We're good. That's, that's what we need. Okay. And then water. The water w is going to flow this way and it's going to push them right into here and since the iron golems are super tall they're just gonna be 
like they're going to catch on fire from the lava, their heads are going to be in here. They're going to die, and the iron slash poppies or whatever is going to fall into this hopper, and they're going to transport into this chest. So now, as soon as it turns night, all the villagers have used the beds, and the iron golems will spawn during the daytime. I'm, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to put the water back down. Like that. Awesome. And now I'm stuck, but I'm going to make a leap. I'm going to make a leap. Okay, and I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Now wait, how do I collect everything? How am I going to get up there? I'm a little confused. Am I, is there a specific way I'm supposed to do this? So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave this alone for a little bit. We're going to go and check the results later. Uh, but for now, it's time to work on our big project for the day. This was just a little... Uh, redstone engineering thing this should give us a lot of iron in the future if it's only as fast as this chicken farm that will be disappointing because i have not taken a single piece of cooked chicken out since we built this and it's it's gotten me half a stack so i think what i was supposed to do with the chicken farm is build several chicken farms and not just one so i will probably build another one off camera just so it can be a little bit more efficient maybe even uh i'll build two or something like that but now, actually, I don't think you saw this bridge here either. I did build a bridge uh, connecting the two sides, and it's very nice. I do think it looks good. Um, but over here is the big thing that I have planned today, is to build the storage system uh, in our base, because this is very inefficient right here. Just having this double chest completely full. This is inefficient. So we need to do something about that. And I have gone ahead and I have cleared out an area down here. And this is the space that we have to work with. This perfectly mirrors the amount of space that we have upstairs. And I am going to be using these building materials to get this done. How am I going to do that? Well, let's see. So what I want to do is I want to use this amethyst that I got. And I want to create like an initial cool looking block palette kind of thing. Where I want to go straight across to the back wall for each each thing. Hold on, I need some torches. Light this place up a little bit. So, kind of like this. And then we do that for, uh, we do that three more times. So it kind of goes like this, and it goes out on each side. I want to see how that looks before I do anything else. And if it looks okay, then we can continue on. The only thing that I'm thinking is, there's a chance that I might want to make it two blocks wider. Uh, by adding one more uh, layer of amethyst on either side. But I am going to have more amethyst uh, in this storage room than you see right now, so we'll see. Alright, how are we feeling about this? That's not too bad. I can live with that. Now, I thought I had some calcite. That would be cool. Oh, that would be cool to outline this with. I'm going to outline it with calcite. Wait, do I have any calcite? I gotta go check. I have two blocks of calisite. Huh. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna have to go and find one of those amethyst geodes again so that I can use the calisite. but to get a general idea of how this will look, I think I can take this calisite and I can just outline each side. Remember how I just said that I was gonna outline... Yeah, so like that. So one row here and one row here and we'll go like that. I think that would look fantastic. But in the meantime, I also want to make these back walls out of amethyst. For what reason, I don't know. But it feels incomplete without doing the floor first. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get some more calcite from these amethyst geodes, and I will be right back. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. I got two stacks of the stuff, and it only took me about 5-10 minutes. And most of that time was finding my way in and getting my way out. So now I just have to replace all of these sides with calcite, and we will see how it looks then. And there we go. What do you think? I don't think that's too bad. So now what I want to do is I want to put that calcite away. I don't need it at the moment. We're going to take these deep slate bricks, and this is what's going to make up the rest of the floor. So we have a very 1.18 kind of feel to this, uh, and I think it will turn out pretty well overall. It's got a mix of lights and darks, which is going to give it a cool balance. It's going to feel like a mystical kind of storage room instead of my traditional, you know, 
wooden and stone kind of feel where it's just kind of boring. Of course, I'll make storage rooms like that again, but for this hardcore world, I figured let's change it up a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm just hoping that I have enough deep slate with me right now. If not, I can easily just craft up more. I have a very large amount in those chests that you saw up there. I love that. I think that's great. We're going to do this to the other sides, and then we can carry on with the walls. I think that looks great. I had to get more cobbled deep slate and to make the deep slate bricks from other chests over by my uh, villager trading hall, but, you know, it is what it is. But for the walls, I'm thinking we just continue this pattern here, and for everything else, we might just keep it as the deep slate. I'm, I think that's what I might do. It does feel kind of plain that way, but if it's too busy, it might feel a little bit odd. Or actually, you know what? I'm having I'm having an idea. What if I made stairs, like brick stairs? Can I make those here? No. But if I change this with stairs, I think that would look really cool. I think that would look really cool. All right. Let's do that. So if we get rid of these walls right here, these walls right here, and we use, hmm, like that, and then what if we did, hey, that's not bad, that's not bad, or should we even go as far as to make it out of calcite? No, that looks weird, that looks weird, never mind, never mind, take it back, or, yes, that's where the torches are going to go. But I think we should still put something behind it, such as a uh, deep slate block, like so. Excellent. I am having fantastic builder moments right now. That's what each side is going to look like, along with uh, each wall being made out of the deep slate bricks. So let's time lapse it, because why not? So there you go, as you can see, I got everything done, the ceiling is in place, and I think it looks very, very nice. Now I'm experimenting with the chests, because I will have a ton of chests uh, that I can put in here. So if I were to connect all of these up, I can have three stacked on top of each other, and it goes for rows of five. So already, that is way more space than I'll ever need, just this one wall alone. So instead of general storage, I can have very specific sorting systems. Now I do have a little bit of room back here on each side, and maybe I can use that for some sort of valuable storage. Um, but for now, I think that's about all I'm going to need. I'm not going to even need to use all of this. I mean, this is, this is a lot of space. I mean, look at this. Look at how many chests this is. This is an insane amount of chests. I am starting to question why I gave myself so much storage. Uh, but I think this should be good for now. What I'm going to be doing uh, off camera for a little bit is I'm going to collect more and more wood to try and get all of these areas filled with chests. This is going to take quite a while because I'm not even going to need all this storage. But... Uh, but yeah, let's give that a shot, and I will be back in a little bit. It is the next day in real life, my friends, and we are going to be checking on the progress of this here farm. Now, I checked it once before, to be completely honest, and it was working flawlessly, much to my surprise, because 
as we all know, I mean, I'm not bad at redstone. I'm fantastic at redstone. That's what I was going to say. But in all honesty, I could definitely use some work with my redstone abilities. So let's see. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at all that iron. And we even got some puppies as well. But I don't need the puppies right now, so I'm just going to leave them in there. And we're just going to let this thing run. So this is proof that this works. Now you're probably saying, well, you could just build another one, Chrome, and you could just get even more iron. Well, that's the thing. If I have too much iron, then that is actually a bit of an issue as well because I won't know what to do with it all. I won't have a use for it. And this is actually pretty steady flow, and I'm okay with that for now. If I need more in the future, I know I can just build another one. But I have a villager right here. I got all these villagers back uh, off camera. And now I have a fairly decent uh, trading setup going on. Um, I now have this iron trade, which I can't, oh, he, he doesn't want to trade with me anymore. That's rude. <laughs> but he's got, uh, all sorts of stuff. I'm probably going to be trading with him the most, just because of the amount of, uh, iron he's willing to take. And what do I really want out of him right now? Could take some of that. And I've basically just been filling up this empty chest what used to be an empty chest with all of these goodies. There you go. So basically I'm just going to keep on trading with these guys and I think that will turn out pretty well. I think we'll have a steady stream of resources coming very, very soon. But in the meantime, I figured I would show you what I did with the basement off camera. I collected more wood, enough to make chests to fill the whole space. It did not actually take as long as I originally thought it would, which is fantastic because now the only thing that I need to finish is putting the item frames on each chest to signify what is inside each one. That one's going to take a little longer because I need to find enough cows or other animals to provide enough leather. And it seems like when I need cows the most, they're nowhere to be found. But I got a couple already. And here's our grand reveal. We come down these stairs right here and boom. Look at that. This entire space is filled with chests. And I got some item frames right here. I have, let's see, six more here. So we can start to put these on over here. This is going to turn out very, very nicely. And just like that, that whole side is pretty much done. And we just have to do this four more times. I'm not going to do that on camera because... You clearly don't want to see that, but I think we'll use this chest right here for dirt because we have a lot of dirt. And, oh yeah, I completely forgot that I was going to uh, let you guys in on my plan here. So, here's how this is going to stay as organized as possible. This corner over here is going to be for stone and maybe crystals of some kind, right? So you got... Uh, cobblestone, you got your diorite, your calcite, and all of your other block variants related to stone, right? Maybe even some amethyst. We'll throw our amethyst crystals over here, and that'll brighten things up a little bit. But we're going to throw all of our stone-related things on this side. Over here, we're going to have our more natural uh, things like dirt. We're going to have our, uh, like, seeds and saplings and those kinds of things. Maybe over in this section, we'll have like a nether slash end dimension kind of uh, group. And then maybe over here, we'll have more miscellaneous kind of things. And then I'll put some chests on each of these things and they'll hold like valuables or something. Or maybe I'll just put an ender chest in here or a different kind of table. I don't know. But I also put a crafting table down here because I will be needing crafting tables quite a lot while I'm down here, I'm sure. Pulling items out and then putting them into different places. It'd be good to craft things up. Um, but I think this looks very nice. So what do you think overall? Rate this storage room on a scale of 1 to 10 because, to be frankly honest with you, I would give this, I don't know, maybe a solid... Hmm. I'd give this one like a solid 9 out of 10. This is a really good storage system, if I'm being honest. But it can always be better. We're going to keep on making it bigger, and we're going to keep on working at it. All right, so that is what we got done today. We got done our basement, and this is pretty much the entire base. Unless I add more to the base, our base is now complete, believe it or not. And we also have an iron farm that is working very, very well. So what is in store for future episodes? I think in the next episode we're going to explore the nether some more and try and get some wither skeleton skulls. 
Because hear me out here, with the iron farm, I found out a super easy way to defeat the wither is with iron golems. And we have plenty of iron to make enough iron golems to completely destroy a wither. And we can make some beacons, we can go mining some more. Oh man, with the addition of that iron farm, this might be a lot easier uh, than it originally was going to be. So I'm very excited about that. And I believe that this is just going to be the end of the episode already. So, thank you so much for watching this video as we end on this rainy day. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I will see everybody in the next video.